It is the 22nd of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I lost internet for a few days. My service provider went down doing upgrades for uh, the digital television. I use cable modem. Uh, it's quicker for the videos and stuff for me. Um, come to find out, they fried out my modem, and I had to go down and get a new one, so I've been offline for a few days. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. The coldest, deepest ocean water that flows around Antarctica in southern ocean has mysteriously disappearing has been mysteriously disappearing at a high rate over the last few decades scientists have found. This mass of water is called the Antarctic bottom water which is formed a few di distinct locations around Antarctica where the seawater is cooled by the overlying air made saltier by the ice formation so basically it gets heavier and it sinks and that's part of the circulation. Um, belt that goes on around the world. Um, they're saying um, they've studied over 10 year intervals and it's warming up, but uh, they failed to mention the new volcanoes they discovered down in that region and uh, other factors besides uh, your SUVs. Super bolt rumbles in the skies over Oklahoma. It woke up sleepy Tolsons, set off car alarms, and freaked out family pets. Uh, many people thought it was an earthquake that hit Tulsa at 3.33 this morning. Instead, says National Weather Service meteorologists, it was a super bolt. Um, he says a uh, super bolt is a positively charged cloud to ground strike of lightning. Computers in in records indicated a single super bolt struck the heart of South Tulsa just after 3.30. No damage was reported. So uh, here comes the super bolt lightning storms. Uh, in the big Lando cane that's going on right now. I got my radar going. Mass drill in Mexico coincides with the big earthquake. The government of the state of Chiapas has prepared, has prepared for today at noon a massive drill uh, of a 7.9 earthquake in the Richter scale. Uh, it was nothing but a moment of panic as there was no lives lost. The president uh, confirmed today in Monterey commenting on the 7-point earthquake in the Richter scale with the epicenter in the borders of the state of Guerrero and was felt in Mexico City and several other states. Uh, in view of the scale of the event because the, there have not been any lives lost, it was noteworthy that the government of the state of Chiapas has prepared precisely for today at noon a massive drill, oh a massive earthquake drill at the time, something that has been actively discussed in social media networks. So they were just happening to have this drill as the earthquake hit. And of course 7.4 earthquake shakes Mexico, hundreds of homes damaged. <clears throat> devastating mini tornado hits Australian city. A devastating mini tornado tore through the city of Townsville on Tuesday, ripping roofs off houses, snapping trees in half, and injuring 13 people as wild weather pounded in northern Australia. Uh, these are U.S. planes types thunderstorms rolling through, and um, they're still dealing with flooding and devastation and those cyclones. Uh, Australia is definitely in for some times. Uh, another earthquake story for Mexico City. And, uh, of course, the Lando Cane stories that are going on here in the United States. Over to the Extinction Protocol, mysterious booming noise rattles Ontario neighborhood. A uh, neighborhood in Barrie's northwest end was rattled Tuesday night when a sonic boom brought residents out of their houses. And uh, they're saying they heard a lot of noise. The guy thought it was somebody th threw something at his house personally, but when he went outside, all the neighbors were there kind of thing. Uh, big mystery, another noise, is mysterious rumbling noise in Wisconsin spreading. The strange sounds heard over three straight nights in Clintonville, Wisconsin, have now been reported 70 miles to the south of Montello. What are they? Also, officials in Montello are reporting an unidentifiable slimy sludge has invaded the wastewater system never seen before. Uh, can it have something to do with the weird booming noises residents of both towns are reporting? Is there something geologically going on, or are they just blowing up more dumb tunnels? Uh, awakening question mark. 7.4 Mexico earthquake sets off seismic swarm at San Salvador Volcano. 
the National Service for Territorial Studies um, reporting that eight earthquakes have rattled San Salvador Volcano, which is located northwest of the capital city of San Salvador, a population of about 5,400,000, yeah, 5,400,000 yeah, people. An emergency declaration has been declared at the volcano as a precautionary measure. Uh, the eight tremors felt by the population have reached levels between 2.2 and 3.3 on the Richter scale, and uh, they're afraid this thing's going to pop with all those people living right underneath it. More tremors recorded at Mount Etna slopes. This is out of Italy. And uh, this volcano has been very active in the last few years. Uh, of course, a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake in Papua New Guinea. And the Australian uh, mini tornado stories. That's about all new they've got going on tonight. Oh, they've got the story on Ireland residents tormented by mysterious nighttime helicopter noises and repeated noises happening uh, night after night. People losing sleep, complaining, nobody's fessing up to, you know, it's nothing man-made kind of thing going on. And uh, some war stories. Over to the RSOE. Uh, they've got a nuclear event, or uh, they've got an event going on in Fukushima Daiichi, Japan. A uh, small fire broke out on the premises of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on Wednesday. Uh, the plant operator, TEPCO, said adding that the stable condition of the stricken nuclear reactors is maintained. Uh, the incident occurred around 11.20 a.m. when workers were trying to weld pipes at a lawned area near a light oil tank located near the number 5 and number 6 reactor buildings. A uh, company spokesman said they used a fireproof sheet to cover the work area, but it was blown by the wind and the fire sparks flew into the grass. Uh, portions of the 3 meter square area burned, but the workers were able to extinguish the fires, of course. Um, so they're out there welding and causing fires on this dead grass that they've painted green out in Fiaci, uh, Diachi plant. Over to the ENE News. Now hydrogen levels triple at reactor number two, and again this is uh, Fukushima Diachi in recent days. They got a report plutonium ratio 200 times higher than the government claims. A professor surprised. A detection made 50 kilometers south of Fukushima Diachi, and they have the results posted. CNN nuclear re expert, I think MOX fuel is being used at U.S. reactors, you know it is. Contradicts government's claims made in Russia with weapons grade plutonium. They have a video attached with that. Reactor number two, temperature near 80 degrees Celsius, up almost 20 degrees Celsius in a week. And uh, this isn't over by any means whatsoever. But Japan schools required to promote the use of nuclear power, not allowed to buy teaching materials discussing dangers. Policy to change? Question mark. Fukushima hit by magnitude 5 and 4.8 and 4.6 in the last few hours, two at nearly identical locations. Uh, the ground is clearly unstable. And Fukushima government deleted radiation forecast data starting day of quake. Can't confirm who did it, but it was done. And government testing suspicious black dust for, for plutonium. Uh, taken from places already decontaminated, official prepare for undetectable results. I believe it will be more or less adjusted to what the authorities will be okay with. As in, they're going to make up whatever the hell they want and tell them whatever they want on this damn stuff. Uh, Fukushima Diachi, a long way from being out of the woods. No one knows where the melted nuclear fuel is located. Still great uncertainty over the complex's status. And again, we're all guessing here. Official at the meeting, quote, We recognize that there are black materials everywhere in the city. You got to remember these, uh, these things are combining and making new isotopes and crazy things going on. That's about all I'm going to cover for, for today. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.